I am in San Diego, California, and today I am going to show you guys my dove aviary and my doves and my pigeon aviary and my pigeons. So let me turn this around because no one wants to look at me. All right, so out of my back door here, we have first the doves. We're gonna go see the doves. These guys are ringneck doves. They are honeymooning right now, which means that they are off their eggs and snuggling. So hopefully we'll get some snuggling. Oh, there is Killer. Killer self-rescued in my backyard and started this whole thing. He wants some treats. And over here is his wife, friend, who I adopted from Avian Underdogs Rescue Group. She's making a nest. Killer Bee, hey, you want treats? Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. All right, this is Killer. He is super sweet. Uh, when he came here, he was quite young, we think. So um, he's quite people friendly. And he spent three months living in our palm tree in our front yard because we didn't know what he was and didn't realize he was domestic and had not yet found Palomacy. So once we found Palomacy, we brought him inside and built him an aviary and adopted him a wife. So this is their aviary. Hi, buddy. And I just love the doves. They have the funniest laugh, as you heard. They are so cute, and it's actually really funny. A friend of mine came and stayed, and Killer was flying around just laughing. Every time he's landing on a perch, he's laughing, laughing. And uh, my friend woke up and came out and said, and I said, I'm sorry, I hope the, hope the doves didn't uh, wake you up. And he said, oh, I thought that was you. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, they just sound like little old crazy men. So this is Killer Bee. And... Uh, up here, so in this aviary, um, I collected a bunch of fig branches from a neighbor. And so these guys have all these branches and some plastic greens for greenery and for shade. And this is Friend. She's also um, pretty chill. It took her about a year to get used to us, um, but she's friendly now, friendly friend. However, she is building her nest, so she's probably not gonna come down. So they're working on their nest. And what they have is down here, they have some, here you go bud, come on down. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll see if I can get killer off. They've got some uh, cut up uh, toilet paper rolls, which is their favorite nesting supply. You want one, buddy? You want a nest? You want to build your nest? He's more interested in safflower. So this is killer's favorite. He's very picky, so I save a lot of toilet paper rolls and I cut up a lot of toilet paper rolls. We also have some pine needles and he also loves twist ties, but I think he's taken those up to her already. So. There's that, they have some rocks, they have a bath, they have some other perches and areas. These guys have uh, some, this is like corrugated plastic flashing, I think it's called, because it gets pretty windy here and um, they, you know, pretty, pretty regularly. So I like to keep them, uh, keep them away from the wind. Here's a little, we call this king perch. Killer likes to go up here and woo his girl, stick his butt up in the air and holler. And if you come around here, this is their favorite branch. Hey, buddy. Oh, damn, he's going up there now. Oh, there's friend. She has the sweetest little coo. Let's see if we can get them. They're in snuggle mode right now. Hi, guys. Yeah, we're, we're spying. See how his wings are twitching? He does that when he wants to snuggle. Hey, buddy. You guys gonna snuggle? They're so cute. They preen on each other. So they're up there, that's their second favorite nest spot. They alternate, they have a nest spot over here too, which they use every other time. And as I was saying, this is their main perch, which is actually the window that looks into our living room. So they sit there and watch us, it's like birdie TV. Uh, the bamboo is so they don't fly into the window, although they never have. So that's pretty much it. A chair, of course, is a necessity. So you can sit in here and hang, which I do often. They have a little spray millet treat hanger down here, which they eat now and then. All right, bud, you want some more treats? Come on back down. No, I think he's too interested in, hey, you guys want treats? Friend, do you want some treats? No, you just want to be all lovey up there. Killer, you want treats? What you doing? They like to sit on each other. They'll like cram themselves in little corners and uh, sit on each other kind of like this. One of their favorite spots to snuggle together is this tiny little board right here <laughs> where they, that they sit on now and then on top of each other. Hey buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? You coming down? Yeah, you're kind of, yeah, here you go. 
Come on down. You want some more treats? Of course you do. Come on. Come on down. Oh, bud, come on. You're not shy. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, we're spying on you guys today. Sorry, girl. I know, you want some treats too? He's getting all the good stuff. He's getting all the good stuff. I'll make it up to you later. Yeah, all right, Killer B. These guys had a bath yesterday. Nice and clean for you guys. A uh, friend likes to take a bath every other day. Killer doesn't take one that often, but when they're honeymooning, they like to take a bath together. Right, buddy? Yeah, that's my boy. All right, bud. You go do your thing. You want to go say hi to your wife? So now, I can't tell what time it is from here, but I'm going to move on because... Go on up, bud. Up you go. All right, say goodbye to the doves. I'm going to take you guys over to the pigeons. Sorry for the camera motion here. This is, I need like three more hands. Okay, and here I'll show you my safety door. We have a latch with a carabiner for the day. When I'm here at night, it gets padlocked or if I'm gone. There we go, there's that. All right, so across the hallway. Oh, I've got perfect timing, Elizabeth says, great. Across the hallway is the Mad Pigeon House. The doves are pretty chill. There's only two of them also. And the pigeons are crazy. This is Mo, who has been anxiously waiting to show you how cool he is. Come in here. Hi, Mo, Mo. Hi, buddy. Mo, come here, buddy. Mo is my super friendly pigeon. He's about a year old. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. He was rescued. It's kind of an amazing story. Uh, Jennifer Morales, who is a Palomacy member, was hanging around near a building where they were doing some pest control. Oh, oh, he sees something in the yard. What do you see? And um, they threw Mo's nest off the roof. Mo was about a week old. And uh, Jennifer was standing there, and she managed to catch Mo. He got flung out of the nest. Uh, she couldn't, unfortunately, also catch the sibling. So Mo was saved, and when he was about three and a half months old, he came here. Oh, he's he's a nosy boy. He's he's up in everyone's business. Moose. Oh, moose. Oh, geez. That's moose, famous moose, who's trying to fly to a place he can't get to, so he just flew into my face. Moosey, you're all right, buddy. Moose man. Uh, some of you guys, moose. Some of you guys probably know moose. Moose is honeymooning. He um, has a pretty rare illness, but he's doing great on his meds. He's charging up to his perch that no one else can get to. Hi. Hi, Moosey. This is his wife, Nike. She is a big old chomp girl. She's super sweet. Moose's first wife died a little while ago unexpectedly, and now he is happily married to Nike. Hi, girl. Moosey, good flying, buddy. Moose has been losing some weight, part of his uh prescription for better health and he flies a lot now so they're honeymooning which is great because they're hysterical when they honeymoon i love him he's been spending the day uh digging uh well he's been collecting pine needles i should say so these guys are pine needle addicts i go to the park many times usually a couple times a week they also just had baths and i'm sorry i didn't put this out earlier because you could have seen it so everything's wet there's maud she's my sweet little king pigeon hi maudy I love her waddle. That's Laika. He's the boss man. Mod. So Laika. So the pigeons came to be. Hey guys. Oh, this is pigeon activity. They do this all the time. Like I said, it's always like it's a bit like a frat house in here. So Laika and his uh, racing. Par oh, Mod. Good, good girl. Laika and his racing partner uh, started hanging out on the wire. Uh, on the telephone wire in my neighborhood, and I saw them and caught them. Uh, hi, Mo. I know. We're not talking about you anymore. Um, and uh, at that time, um, I just decided, well, we're going to keep them. So actually, his racing partner went to a different rescue because they did not get along. Um, and Leica stayed here. So Leica started the Pigeon Palace, and he knows it, too. He's kind of a jerk, but he's sweet as well. So let me introduce you to these guys. This is the Pigeon Palace. It's about the same size as a dove aviary, but there are 12 pigeons in here, um, which is the most I will have. And anyway, they're all married pairs, which makes things somewhat easier. So we have, there is Moose and Nike up in their spot. Moose doesn't fly so well, so he has ramps everywhere, which Maud also likes to use. This is, hi Maud. Maud likes safflower. Let's see if I can, oh no, she's not gonna do it. 
Well, we'll start here. So this is Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a Scandarin pigeon. She's got that very strange beak. She does not like me um, being nosy in her box. Mo and Shakespeare are married and they fill this thing as high as with pine needles as they possibly can. So in the process of doing that right now, it's part of the reason I'm always at the park. Mo doesn't like it when I nose in on his box. Hey, Momo. Mo, you're okay, buddy. That's Mo. Yes, Mo, nosy Mo. Over here with the giant porch is um, Moose and Nike's nest box. And they get extra space because they're big birds. And up top here, we have Starbuck. He is an ex-racing pigeon. Hi, buddy. He's sitting on some fake eggs. He's Maud's husband. They have been here not that long, actually. They're all settled in. Over here, we have, oh, Nico and Jabot. Look at you guys. Hi. So Jabot came from Cynthia Large in Sacramento. And um, she is a feisty, sweet little feather-footed gal, as you can see. I know I'm going to be nosy. Hi. Oh. And Nico came from Deborah uh, in, um, let's see, Orange County, I think. And he is, um, he was a baby, rescued as a baby with a broken leg, and they rehabbed him. And he's so sweet. And they had, like, instant love. As you can see, they're super cute. That's Nico and Chabot. Down here we have our newest, newest residences, the residents. They've only been here in this aviary 24 hours, so they're spending a lot of time um, getting to know each other, I should say, in their new box. So, hi guys, I know, you don't know me well yet. That's Baltazar there. He is an English carrier. And yes, that thing on his face is supposed to be there. Um, it's part of the breed. And that is his new wife, Esme. Hi, girl. So they uh, met at Avian Underdogs a few days ago. They got married in my bathroom sink yesterday. And then yesterday evening, I put them in the aviary in this nest box overnight, which they happily owned, which is awesome because it's my last one. And now they're here. So they're still uh, getting the lay of the land. Like as, yeah, you can be nosy, buddy. Yep, he's being nosy. Someone says Esme is beautiful. Esme, we think, is an Afghan Shirazi pigeon. Um, so, yeah, she's she's different. And then over here in the last box, this is uh, Laika's box. And this is Little Voice. She's a tiny 260-gram little, we don't know what, Portuguese tumbler, we think, maybe. But she is fierce. I, I'm sorry, I know. She is the cutest little coo. All right. She also likes to fill her box with pine needles. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. So she won't be out for a little bit because Lyke is like a super lame egg sitter. He never sits. Fake egg sitter. There's Nico. This is their swing perch, which they love. Nico's going to go pester Mo. So everyone's up here. Yep. This is what happens here all day, every day. Lots of gargle strutting and jostling. There's Maud up there. Yeah, Maud is pretty sweet. Maud was one of the 23 king pigeons that were rescued in Huntington Park by Nancy Chu and Ben, her husband. Um, so she was at Avian Underdogs and then came here. She's been here a bit now. She's super, super sweet. Anybody want treats? You guys don't. They're not as, they're not as easy with my hands yet as, uh, oh, as uh, the doves. Mo is, but nobody else is. Let's see, Momo, you want some treats, buddy? Oh yeah, Mo, come here. Momo, come here. Nope, he's like too busy guarding. Let's see, Shakespeare sometimes. She just learned how to eat out of my hand too. And she even, this is like a, this is a no-no, I'm invading their space, but Shakespeare will come and eat out of my hand. See, she is like a big old tree. So see, she's got that funny hooked beak there. Yeah, oh, Mo's gonna have some too. She's super shy and sweet. I just love that they all have different personalities. They're so unique. They're super fun to take care of and hang out with. I'm in here all the time, probably more than I should um, be. Easy to procrastinate when you have a bunch of pigeons. Oh, stop, Mo. Hey, come here. Come on, buddy. So that's the flock. Uh, the aviary is pretty standard, I'd say. I really like having it out, having these guys outside because the weather is beautiful here. We really don't need a ton of um, a ton of shelter. And, oh, look, Moose and Nike are preening. Look at those guys. I love it when they get all snuggly. 
Moose is so happy. Have a sweet young wife. Moosey. Yeah. Yep, so they're chilling. They like to hang. Oh, hi, Nike. They like to uh, sunbathe. And um, I leave a space open here. I mean, it has hardware cloth, but it's not protected with uh, the plastic stuff. And they all lie down in the rain when it rains, which is rare, but um, they get a nice breeze. And it's, this aviary is pretty easy to clean, I would say, for anyone who's thinking about aviaries. I have some drain holes down here. So this concrete was already here. This is my back patio. I have these drain holes that I block from the outside until it's time to clean. And so it makes it easy to just hose things down. I also use these shelf liners, which was not my idea. It was Patty Delaney's idea, and I just wish I had done it earlier. So they're actually stapled down, and you can just wipe them up. It's so, so nice. So it stays relatively clean in here. And, you know, pigeon poop really isn't that bad. I know it's probably one of the things people get worried about with pigeon pets, but a healthy pigeon has just a little tiny dollop of poop, doesn't smell. I think it's way better than cats and dogs. And you just scrape it up and um, I put it in my compost. So I'm gonna turn this around because Mo is here. Hi, Momo. Mo is, yes. <clears throat> I have a mole on my neck that Mo has removed a couple times. I need to get a doctor to do it just so it can come off the right way. He loves a mole. He doesn't usually go for my face, but every once in a while when he's mad at me, he will. Hi, buddy. Yeah, and those liners, it's the easy grip um, shelf liner just from, uh, I think Lowe's. It's really great. I am like so happy because 12 birds. Yeah. You gotta, gotta clean up after him. And I like it to be really clean. Hey Mo. What's up buddy. He also likes phones. Let's see. He might, he might, um, hang up on us here. Nope. There you go, bud. Mo was my first, um, what we call bicultural pigeon. So human and pigeon oriented and, uh, He's been a real treat. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're gonna lie down now? Oh, yeah. He doesn't usually lie on me. Hi. All right, guys, so I think that's it. Um, I'm probably out of time. So anyway, here from the Pinch Palace in San Diego, um, it's uh, nice to chat with you all, and thanks for hanging in for the tour. Um, as Holly said, please check out the My Giving Circle. What are you doing, Mo? <laughs> uh, and vote for Plomacy and also enter your pictures in the calendar please and if you guys are in southern california and you are looking to adopt pigeons or doves please go and contact avian underdogs uh, i volunteer for them as well as palomacy and um, they have tons of amazing birds most of mine came from there and they're really good about matching you up so please support them if you're here um, they do great work for the pigeons and doves all right y'all say bye mo Bye, Mo. Uh, oh, yes, and up next is Molly. Molly Neenstadt, I hope I said that right. And she is coming to you guys from the East Coast with some awesome birds. So stick around. Bye.